Hello there, our viewer. Thank you so much for tuning in for this prayer devotion. This week, we just want to continue with the Easter theme. And this week, we just want to focus on the expressions of Jesus on the cross. There are some expressions that Jesus made while he was hanging on that cross. And we want to focus on those expressions and see how they relate to us in the present. And also draw some prayer points from the expressions that he made on the cross. And so today, we are looking at the expression, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And this is found in Luke chapter 23, verse 34. Chapter uh, Luke 23, uh, verse 34. In the midst of his execution, Jesus prayed for those whose very actions would cause not only his pain, but also his death. It's very interesting. It's very interesting that the very same people who had condemned him unjustly, the same people who had jeered him, who had mocked him, who had spat on him, who had beaten him, who had flogged him, who had called all manner of names upon Jesus, the same people, even those who had nailed him on the cross and were now gambling for his clothes, Jesus looked down on them and he made a prayer. He said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they are doing in his pain jesus was able to say father forgive them they did not deserve it but then jesus asked the father to forgive them because that is why jesus had come he came so that he may die for our sins that you and i may receive forgiveness and so today we just want to focus on forgiveness forgiveness yes it is not easy but it is made possible by the cross. Jesus is our basis for offering forgiveness and even receiving forgiveness. It is not easy to forgive, but because of what Jesus did, we believe that he is able to give us the power to forgive. And so I just want us to begin there. Let us thank God the Father for giving us his son, through whom we have, the Bible says, we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Let us thank God for giving us his son. He did not withhold his son. He could have withheld his son and judged us harshly and condemned us because of our sin. But let us thank God the Father for giving us his son. And so, Lord, we come before you this wonderful morning. 
We join together with our viewers, oh God, who are watching us from all over the globe this morning, Father. And we just want to come and thank you, oh God, you who gave your one and only son to die for us. We want to say thank you to you, Father. Thank you for not withholding your son, Jesus Christ, oh God, through whom we have redemption and the forgiveness of sins. Thank you for giving him to us, oh Lord. Thank you for releasing him to die for us. Thank you for giving him that he may pay the, the penalty for our sins, oh God. Thank you for giving him up for us that he, that he may shed his blood for our sins and, and for the forgiveness of our sins, oh God. And so we thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. As we continue to thank God, I want us to thank Jesus for shedding his blood on the cross. You know, Jesus had a choice. He had a choice not to shed that blood. He could have said, ah, enough is enough. Let me just go back to heaven where I came from. But he chose to shed his blood. He chose to be beaten, to be flogged. You know, his body was torn apart by thorns, by whips, by floggings for you and I. And he did that so that our sins may be forgiven. And he said, um, when he was taking, when he was doing the Last Supper, he said, do this in remembrance of me, for my blood was shed for the forgiveness of sins. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we continue to thank you because we know that our forgiveness could not have been uh, gotten in any other way but by the shedding of your blood. Thank you for shedding your blood. Thank you for allowing yourself to go through humiliation, to go through the mockery, to go through the pain, to go through the things that you went through so that we may receive forgiveness of sins. Thank you for not withholding shedding your blood. Thank you for not withholding going to the cross. Thank you for not withholding you dying for us, oh God. And so Jesus, we want to thank you this morning. We want to thank you this day. We come with a grateful heart, knowing that if you didn't go to Calvary, none of us would be here. And so we want to thank you this wonderful day for shedding your blood. Indeed, it is a singer who has sung and said that all the way to Calvary, you went for us. And we are grateful that you went for us, that you may receive the forgiveness of sins through the blood that you shed, through the blood that was poured on Calvary. We have forgiveness. We receive forgiveness and we are friends of God. Thank you for making us friends of God. Thank you for reconciling us back to the Father through your blood, Lord Jesus. For that, we are grateful and we bless your holy name. And now we want to look at whatever Jesus did and we want to apply it in our lives. And we want to ask God for the grace to forgive the grace to offer forgiveness and receive forgiveness. We need grace to forgive people. It is not easy to forgive. People have hurt us. People have offended us. People have done so many things against us. And so even before we go to the point where we pray for people who have hurt us, ask God to give you the grace to forgive. Yes, there are people you need to forgive. There are people probably who, whom you need uh, to ask forgiveness from. And so this day, ask God for the grace to forgive, to offer forgiveness and receive forgiveness. Our God and our Father, we thank you because of what you did at Calvary, Lord Jesus Christ. It is because of what you did at Calvary that we are able to forgive others. And Lord, I know it is not easy to forgive. And so this day we ask you, give us the grace to offer forgiveness. Give us the grace to receive forgiveness. Give us the grace, Lord, to forgive those who have hurt us and offended us in the name of Jesus. And so we thank you because we know if we ask you for the grace to forgive, which is a good thing, you release it. And so we thank you for the grace you have released upon our viewers today to forgive, oh God. And I want us to go ahead and pray for those who have hurt you, those who have offended you, even those that you feel the hardest to forgive, those that you feel like you can't forgive. God has given you the grace this day. And so go ahead and mention them by name. Maybe your dad, maybe your mom, maybe it's your brother or your sister or your spouse or your blood relative, or is it your boss, or is it your friend, or your colleague at work? Go ahead and mention them and say, God, I bring so and so. I forgive them. They hurt me. And so, God, today, we come before you. There are people who have hurt us. There are people who have offended us. And some of them, we feel they are not worthy of forgiveness. You have just reminded us that you did it on the cross. You forgave those who didn't deserve. So even today, Lord, we are forgiving them that we think they don't deserve. We have been hurt badly by those who are closest to us, Father. Those that we felt, oh God, they would never hurt us, almighty God. They have hurt us, our parents, our brothers, our sisters, our relatives, oh God, our employers, my Father, our colleagues at work, Jehovah. Maybe some of us have been hurt by even clergy, pastors, my Father, men of the cloth, 
Some have been hurt by doctors, nurses, lawyers, professionals. My God, we ask for forgiveness. We forgive them for hurting us. Those who have hurt us deeply, those who have caused us emotional pain, oh God, those who have caused us internal injuries, my Father, we forgive them today. Just as on the cross, Jesus, you said, Father, forgive them, for they know no, they don't know what they are doing. Father, we forgive those who have hurt us. We forgive them. We let them go. We choose to forgive them. Yes, I know we'll be angry when we see them. We will continue hurting, but Father, let us hurt after we have forgiven them. We release them. We choose to forgive them, and we release ourselves, oh God, from the bondage of unforgiveness in the name of Jesus. And now that we have prayed for them, I want us to pray a blessing on them. Let us pray a blessing on them to show that really we have forgiven them. Speak a blessing upon that person who hurt you most deeply. Pray for them and pray that God will bless them. Father, we pray a blessing on those who have hurt us, O God. We ask you today, do a special thing for them, O God. Yes, my Father, to prove that we have forgiven them, we pray for them. Jesus, you said we pray for those who persecute us. We bless them that curse us, them that do us harm. We speak a blessing upon them. So today we speak a blessing. We pray that you do a special thing to that person who hurt us deeply, my Father, who hurt our viewers so deeply, O God, who caused them so great internal injury. Father, do something special for them. Open doors for them. Do a miracle for them. Bless them. May your favor be upon them, O oh God. And now, Lord, we want to thank you for the grace you have given us to ask for forgiveness and to release forgiveness and to offer forgiveness. We are grateful. We are free people. We are no longer in a bondage because of unforgiveness and bitterness. We are grateful for we know you have blessed us as well. That as we have forgiven others, even as we have received forgiveness, Lord, from the cross, my Father, and our lives will never be the same again. The doors that were shut because of unforgiveness, they are opening. My God, the opportunities that were lost because of unforgiveness, oh, my Father, they are coming back. You're able to restore those opportunities and you're able to restore that which we have lost because of unforgiveness. We are grateful. We bless you. As we march out today, we march out in victory. We march out knowing we are going to experience you because, Father, we have forgiven them that have hurt us in Jesus' name name we pray and we believe. Thank you so much for praying that prayer and for forgiving them that have hurt you. You can go even ahead and call them and tell them, you hurt me, I forgive you in Jesus' name. May God bless you. Enjoy your day. Amazing grace. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch. A wretch like